going to do a video today to show you how to remove this rear fascia panel on your Range Rover Sport. Now this should be very similar, but it's exactly the same part actually on a Land Rover Discovery 3. So now we, this is in a sort of series of videos, you first need to remove the cubby box lid and the centre console. So you'll need to look at our other videos of how to do that. And the reason why is one tiny little screw in the back, sort of behind here, that it comes in from the other side into the back of here, which is a real pain. Other than that, it would be an easy job because it's just on clips. And you may choose when you refit it not to put that screw in, and then you could change it at leisure. We might even do that, Tom. Um, right then. So, yep, so I'll pick up where we sort of left off on the cubby box, Lydio. So I've just left the lid there. We're just going to lift the lid out. Da, 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 da. Right, if I put that to this side, Tom, and I give Tom the camera, he will show you where the offending screw is. So the offending screw is, right, I'll try and stay in the back. You might have to guide me, Tom. Um, otherwise it's not going to be room for all of us to get this in. I think he's, I think I got him, I think I got him. Right, so it's a Torx T20. Thank you, Tom. Right, so hopefully it's probably a bit dark for you guys watching on your computers. Um, but maybe when I take it out, we'll see. So it's a Torx T20 screw. It's just a single one right in the middle between these two, right in between the two air vent channels there. Right in the middle. Right, and there he comes, here he comes. Right, now this is going to drop in its on. <laughs> ah, look at that skill. Right then. So, it's a Torx T20, just one little baby, that's it. So, that is why you have to take the cubby box and a fridge, if you've got one fitted, to get everything out of here to get to that single screw in there. Right. Now, one thing to note is that all the wires that Tom's pulling out the way there, they're, they're all fairly neatly packed. So if you zoom back a bit, Tom, these all need to be tucked. When you're putting it back together, they need to be tucked so that the fridge can come back down this way, or, or the, the cubby box con compartment um, can fit back in. Make sure they're all neatly there. Right, so let's switch round to the back now, Tom. Right then. There we go. Right. Now, so I'm going to just put the cubby box, I'm going to put the, we, we can put that around the front out of the way now. So this whole assembly now actually just pulls forward. You can see at the top here, we've got this little clip. So we can start with that and just put that one down and release that. And then we're just going to work it from the top, okay, down, down that side. And this is all just clipped in. Okay, so you can see it's come out with the pipes at the top, and I don't want to break it. So at the bottom, I'm going to start pulling it back. I don't want to lever it all the way back, because I'll endanger snapping those bottom pins. So I'm just pulling it straight back at the bottom. Okay, and then we've got a plethora, that's that can be our word for the day, of connectors here. So, um, now these were all colour-coded, weren't they? So we just press on the little tab here, just to pull out that green one so luckily look we've got green into green which is quite nice okay and now all these connectors are foolproof so we can't get them wrong so we don't really need to worry too much but obviously you've got the video for reference where they go this one again we've got a little tab to push down and he slides back oh yeah so we ought to explain what these are all for shouldn't we Tom so yeah these are the the heated seat buttons um, and this is the other heated seat the audio We've got the audio. Now this, we've got the supercharged model here, so you may not have all these connectors. The old cigarette lighter, and um, the other one is, is for the audio. Where's the audio gone, Tom? There he is. So this is the audio panel here, and you may want to do this to take it out and put an iPod connector or some other auxiliary uh, unit in there. If you want to take that out, it looks like he just fl flicks out there, doesn't he, Tom? Yep. Yeah. Cut the screws. The cup, it looks like series of clips. I reckon we'll get away with these clips. We're making this bit up, we haven't actually done this before. So, if you want to take those clips out, look, you can take that out. Let's do that, right? So, that is the audio panel removed, complete with the lid there. Okay, if you need that one, right? That's that. 
Right, and then we're getting down to it. So this is the panel. We, we ought to do this strip down on this panel as well, really, didn't we, Tom? Because when we sell the panel in the black piano or the veneered wood finishes, it's only this grey bit you get, um, nothing else with it. Um, what I will point out here while I've got the back is this is the hole where that little screw, the offending, tricky to get out screw lives, it goes in from the back to there. So let's okay, just we have had a, a little break there so you might see a little skip in the video. Um, right, so we're just stripping down this panel so you can see how to strip it down and rebuild it back up again fully. So the next panel we're going to remove is this one here. And this is actually clipped in place. Um, and we're going to just pop work from the bottom we're going to pop these two bottom clips off okay and you can see that's now let the bottom go and now we've got two at the side here got one at the side one on each side should i say let me have a look that's it all right so go on this side again so i'm just pushing there we, oh gosh right there we go and it's all come out so i'll just show you on here the clips because it's easier without it in the way so we have to just push these two back here okay and then these side ones here here and here and then it was just located on two pins at the bottom so that's that bit out the next bit we've saved the trickiest bit for last is these now you can see that the rear is one assembly bridge so what we need to do is this rear bit comes rearwards and this front bit comes forwards um, now Tom's done this and he said if you're not careful you can pull just the front bit of this off and all the veins um, all this mechanism in here all falls to bits so what you've got to do is is really push in to keep the rubber bit onto the plastic bit and then pull up and it comes off with a bit of a, a snap motion but you don't want to just pull the rubber off so let me see if I can do this I did just do this off camera and it wasn't too bad but okay right so this is the bad way to do it, okay? I'm correct, aren't I, Tom? Yes. That's the bad way. So if you take it off and you've got this here, you really want to be putting this back on again. So that's good, because what you've got is you've got a little metal spring here, and all these veins here can actually lift out. I could lift all these little individual bits out. So, so here we go, we've done you the bad way. Now I've got to work out which way that goes back on again. Okay, so we've, we've had this minor disaster in that this ring has come off without the rest of it, and we'll show you how it should come off. Um, just watch these little metal springs, as I've said. Right, now to put this back on, what you're looking at on here is you've got this sort of like, this mouth here with these two rails either side. But you'll notice at one position you've got quite a fat one, and then here you'll see the next three are at 90 degrees and they're quite narrow. The rails are closer together. You see there, there, and there. So the Dayton one is the one with the rails further apart. So that's that. And that lines up with, see that single one there? That's a, that lines up with one of the, the thinner rails. That one there at the end of my finger lines up with one of the thinner rails. This double one here, these double set of rails at the end of my fingernail there, that lines up with the fat one, the, the wider one there. So I'm going to just keep my thumb there, line that up, and then look through here and pop that on there. So I don't know, look at that exactly right. Right, now it should. Hold on, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Right, that is that. Right, and then I'm going to snap that back in place before anything moves, okay? And we're going to have another go now at getting off the right bit. So we really need to get right behind here. And I think we're probably better off, Tom, aren't we? Getting one of those little plastic levers and levering it off with one of those. So I'll just go and grab one of those and then okay, we'll so be what back. What I'm going to try and do now is, is, is get it off correctly. And we're using one of these sort of flat tools to go under here. Okay, and then try and lever the whole plastic assembly out. Okay, now let me just... Okay, there we go. That sounds better, doesn't it, Tom? So, when you do it correctly, you'll see that you've got these three little... If I just move back, we'll give a bit more light, Tom. You've got these little clips here that come out, and then the vent 
assembly, the little vanes there, all come out as one and you've got your springs in there and that's all lovely. That's the way you want to do it if possible. So it may be possible, oh gosh, right, we'll just do the other one and we'll, we'll show you on the back here. You can actually, as you spin it around, see your little clips and it, it may be that you can just push the clips off, hold it out, I'm holding it out, push the next clip off sort of clipping back on as quick as I'm unclipping them though. But let me have a look. See there. Let's have a go again. Oh, go on. If I can get a couple of these off, Tom, we might better. I've got one of those off there. Let me see if I can that's That's it. That's another way of doing it. So I, I went from the back and tried to push these little clips out. So we've got those two out. Anyway, so that, that might be a bit of a struggle, but take your time. We're doing it in the back of the car, but Tom did say we're probably better off doing that in the, on the bench, really, once you've got this assembly out. Um, right, the rest of it, Tom, what's the, what's the guessing on the, ah, uh, we've got these little clips on the outside. So we've got a little clip here, you can probably see from the top there. If we pull that out, that's releasing it. And we've got a series of these. So there's a couple along the top. Now this, is quite compliant actually so we can just pull in the area so let me just show you on here so you've got these little clips at the top here and then you've got these two at the sides here and you've got the two at the bottom and what I was actually doing there was just flexing the plastic a little bit like so which was actually pulling these clips away and that is the panel ready to change so good luck with that